people, 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 people. Ke pa sa sa pa say what they do. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news is some information about a legendary scammer that was taken out in Montego Bay the other day. His name is Buzzman. Now, people, I have heard several artists sing about Buzzman because, of course, you know, dancehall, they idolize Nuff F-U-C-K-R-Y, so we should not be surprised. However, I don't know this person personally. However, the first time or first sighting that I saw him personally was in a video that I got that was circulating all over social media. And basically, he was burning up some money. He was singing his favorite dancehall song. He was talking about the stuff that he likes, meaning fast car, fast women, easy money, all sorts of bubbly, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. As a matter of fact, I did a video about this youth, and the video got a couple of views on YouTube, so that was my first introduction to him personally however people i did not know how big this youth was and how dangerous this youth was and people i got a few more videos now in the next video that i am going to show you he is driving in his car he is flossing with all sorts of stocks racks of it looks like us dollar however people we know that we cannot believe everything that we see Maybe it was some US dollars and then some Jamaican dollars in the middle. People don't know. I am just saying. Don't believe everything that you see. All that glitter is not gold. So people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to this video that is going to be muted because the audio of some people song meaning scan gunman shift. And then people, I am going to speak about it. Take a listen, take a look. Now people, like you see, he was posing in this video. He had rocks, meaning a wad, a large sum of cash. And he was singing Gunman Shift by Skeng, one of the most popular artists in Jamaica. And you know exactly what he speaks about violence, taking out people, rete, lele, which is typical of most scammers. That is what they idolize, dancehall music and life. It basically intertwines. However, it is very ironic that the same gunman shift and gunman that he spoke about or he sang about in the video actually came back to haunt him. So people, that was the first video. Now people, there was also a picture that was all over social media with Buzzman posing with some sort of tall up and people, you know, say, the A to the K, the M to the 16, that is a choice rifle for these gangsters, these scammers in a Montego Bay. So therefore, again, like them say, planting one D-E-A-D, -E you know exactly what it does. He is posing with his rifle of choice. He is showing his badness on social media, which is what I don't understand as it pertains to these scammers. They always want to highlight themselves, them like the spotlight, as if they are some sort of dancehall artist. Now people, in the next picture, which I cannot show because of YouTube's policy, it is when the apps them found him in his car and roll upon him and be a scally, blaze upon him and people, all of the glass were missing. Meaning that the tool, meaning that the car and them shatter everything, including in face, including his marrow. So people, that is the next picture. Now people, there's also pictures that are circulating over social media and we see say, his combolos, his gangs, his members, his friends, his associates, they are saying they miss him. All sorts of tear face, all sorts of depressing looking thing on social media and it says BC, BBC, Bosman, as if rest in peace, they cannot believe that he is gone. However, people, 
when it comes to scammers in Jamaica, it is always destination doom. They are always destined for two places. I am speaking about the big yard or Dunga Dovecots. And if they are not so fortunate, they might experience both meaning getting locked up. However, eventually, it usually ends in one place, the same place in which Bosman met his demise. Now, people, when we talk about scammers, the scammer is the role model for these youths in the garrisons nowadays. It is the person that they idolize. It is the person that most young youths in Jamaica want to be, be like. And this is the reason. It is because of easy money. It is because they don't want to get up early in the morning, put in a 9 to 5 shift. It is because easy come, easy go. They want the money. They want the fame. They want the girl. They want the fast car. They the um what you call it yeah, the car with them hours I drive mark x and people that is the limitation of how these people view themselves however what they don't realize is that with this mark x fast life easy come easy go and that pertains to their life and freedom and also the life and freedom of their family because like them say if them can't catch quaka them are going to catch him shot. And when them catch him shot, them catch the shoes, the lace, everything and everybody after go. Even granny and the dog, the post, point blank and period. The next thing that is very disturbing about this is that this is a choice for most of these females in the garrison that basically have, see themselves, they have a very low esteem. Not the ones with ambition I am speaking about. The typical that has low esteem because they want somebody with some sort of money that can pop champagne at the club, that can buy them all sorts of designer this, designer that, that also can pay their bills and do their nails, do them ear up and also that fake eyelash in which most of them wear that looks kind of iffy, kind of shaky. Now people, when we talk about scammers, it is the lowest form of hustling that is known to mankind and especially these Jamaicans. And I am going to explain why. First of all, you have two types of scammers. You have the scammers that are actually doing the do, that are actually calling people, deceiving them, convincing them to send money to them. And then you have a next sort of scammer that you call the bad mind scammer, that you call the thiefing scammer. So therefore, these scammers, they prey on the scammers that are making money and people. That is where most of the war that we see in Amantigo Bay and all over Jamaica, it is because of bad mind. However, people, when you are deceiving, taking away money from elderly people, I guess the saying is true. Teeth from teeth, God laugh. Now, people, here is a problem as it pertains to scamming versus other hustle, meaning that if you sell some cocoa, some Bob Marley, some Cindy Bakespeare, meaning the green or the white stuff, and people, I am not justifying the action. However, it is what we call fair trade. So therefore, you are not deceiving anybody. You are giving them some of this for some money, and people like me say, this is my disclaimer. Any type of illegal activity is frowned upon, However, I kind of understand if somebody hustles some weed or something like that and they're sending their kids to school. However, when you as a young man deceive somebody, an elderly, that is retired, that is living off some sort of pension and leaving that person broke, that person feeling as if they want to take their life, people, it is never a good thing. And that is why the authorities are always going to intervene. And when I speak about authorities, I am speaking about the feds. May I talk about the people I'm over so? And that is why a lot of these scammers are getting extradited to United States and all over the world. Now, people, what makes scamming one of the worst things is that there is so much takeaway. It is as if thief versus thief. It is as if. All that happens is all a whole lot of violence, a whole lot of people losing their life. And that is because 
There is no honor amongst thieves, amongst scammers. It is even worse. So therefore, people are losing their life at a rapid rate. Now people, this is called Hustle 101 for Dummies. First thing first, you do not S-H-I-T where you hustle. That means uh, you can't add up yourself. That means uh, you cannot be taking out your neighbor, your neighbor mother, your neighbor family because of some sort of monetary gain. So therefore, like me say, them can't find Quaco, them catch him shut. So therefore, that is where all of the heat comes in. That is where the Popo intervene. That is where the Feds intervene. That is where everybody, all sorts of financial um, authorities intervene because then you are taking away people that are elderly and then you are also including all sorts of violence. So therefore, you are bringing heat on yourself and people like me say, do not S-H-I-T where you live. Now people, when we look at the typical, the typical scammer, and I don't want to stereotype anybody. However, people, the truth and the fact is that if there was a description for a scammer in the dictionary, in the encyclopedia, it would show somebody braided and also bleach out. So therefore, you have to ask the question. These youth, they know not how to be stealth. Everybody look the same. Everybody braid up. Everybody in a salsa polo. Everybody just look atypical. Everybody act the same way. Them loud, them boisterous. So therefore, people, nobody knows how to move still. Nobody knows how to keep it quiet. Nobody knows how to hush hush. And people, so they make the money. So they buy all sorts of tool. So they buy the big card and the Mark X, whatever they like. And they make all sorts of loud noise. You can know when they are coming from miles away. So people, I don't understand that hustle strategy. It never works anywhere. And people, it is also a recipe for disaster. So people, I say this to say that. Then they wonder, every time that they are driving up and down, how the poor poor always have pulled them over. Because people, they have a certain look. And basically, they are drawing attention to themselves. And that is something that you don't want to do. And people, that is hustling 101 for dummies. And it seems as if these people, they are basically violating all the protocols point blank and period now people don't get it confused don't get it twisted people have the choice to do whatever they so wish so therefore if you want to bleach if you want to burn out your skin if you want to wear your pants down on your foot down on your knee below your ASS that is up to you whatever floats your boat but people may just as say when you think about everything, when you think about the totality of everything and how these youth flex, you have to wonder how they expect to be successful because they are doing everything that is polar opposite to being successful. And then them wonder how them get old. Them wonder how them get taken out because people like them say, when planting one D-E-A-D, it is H-O-O-T. And the next saying, he that exalted himself shall be a beast. The higher that the monkey climb is the more that he is exposed. And these people, they've been exposing themselves for the longest while. And people, they are getting all exposure that they need. Be it negative, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.